Aloha, I'm Mufi Hanneman, and I'm running for governor. I've said from day one, job one will be to revitalize and grow this economy. We need to put people back to work. I know how difficult it is to meet the challenges of this economy, but if people are not working and we're not having visitors come to Maui, we're not going to have the kind of funds we need to help our educational system, to fund government programs, and last but not least, to ensure uh, that people feel a sense of dignity because they have a job, and I'm going to focus on that. I'm also going to champion education like no other governor has done before. I'm a product of the local public schools. I know what teachers can do for you, principals can do for you with the loving support of your family. And last but not least, and certainly for Maui, the environment is very important. That quality of life that we have become to know and appreciate, we need to sustain that for generations to come. My environmental initiative is called the 21st Century Ahupuaha, where we pay homage to our Polynesian ancestors, and we combine that with modern-day best practices and technology so that we can have renewable energy, create high-tech jobs, all the things that we need to do to diversify this economy. The economy, the environment, education are the three E's of what I would like to do for the people of the state of Hawaii. This is a Maui-specific question in regards to the Pu'unene prison. Are you in support of or against the building of a prison facility? at Pu'unene on Maui? I can support uh, the Pu'unene prison, especially with the way that Senator Shan Tsui is trying to do it. I think the whole process by which the current administration tried to do it was wrong. They didn't engage in, I believe, meaningful community-based planning, where they would ask the community to come forward so they could share their concerns, both pro and con. They didn't have the stakeholders, I believe, in place, such as MEO, so that they could incorporate their designs and their plans for this uh, facility. Uh, and last but not least, they need to get a better handle on the finances. You know, I intend to run government like a business. That's what I did in Honolulu. That's why we have some of the cleanest audits that have ever been done of a county government, the 12 largest county in the United States. So I support it. We need to get the costs under control uh, because you need to have a prison bed space. But the way they did it was all wrong. I'd like to go back to a point where we can engage the community to move forward in a badly needed facility for Maui. In regards to traffic, Honolulu recently launched a 511 traffic information website. Similar funding was introduced at the legislative level for an intelligent traffic system on Maui, but it didn't gain enough support to pass. When will the neighbor islands see the same kind of support extended to Honolulu in this area? Well, you see, that's the leadership style I bring to the table, someone who will collaborate very closely with the neighbor islands. That's how I've been managing Honolulu. I've worked closely with your mayor, the mayors of Kauai and the Big Island to collaborate and make sure that if something is coming to Oahu, it should also go to the neighbor islands. Uh, I know with this particular website, we weren't consulted too through our Department of Information and Technology. They sort of took what they like about our website and incorporated it into what they're trying to do there. So as governor, you have my commitment from day one uh, that if Maui, Kauai, the Big Island needs this, we should also give it to them at the same time that Honolulu gets it. For transient accommodations tax, a lot of the Maui people fought to preserve that. If elected to serve, would you support the continued distribution of TAT tax revenues to the neighbor islands? Absolutely. And the proof in the poi is I work closely with your mayor and the other county mayors to form a common bond uh, and a coalition uh, that was very, very effective in asking the governor as well as those who supported taking away the home hotel room tax uh, from the counties. There's so many things that we do for the visitor industry from a county perspective. This is patently unfair uh, to take it away. I not only will make sure we get it back, but I will strengthen it because the counties are very vital to a viable visitor industry. Any closing thoughts? This is your opportunity to touch upon maybe something I didn't ask or give some contact information for the public. I feel very privileged to have this opportunity to run for governor of the state of Hawaii. Now more than ever, we need someone with proven managerial experience, not legislative experience, to be the governor, because that's what this job is. The buck stops on the desk of a mayor and a governor. You need someone with a collaborative leadership style that understands the importance of the neighbor islands. I've worked on Maui before as a former state director of the Department of Business under John Y. Hay and as a staffer to Governor George Ariyoshi. I also was here on many occasions with C. Brewing Company as a, a brewery executive. And certainly in the volunteer activities that I've been involved with, from Pacific Century Fellows to scholarships, to taking some of the finest women basketball players to the mainland as part of Team Aloha. You know me. I didn't just pop up this year and say I want to be governor. I've been there for you in the past. I want to be there for you in the future. I humbly ask for your vote in the primary on September 18th. Aloha.